Today, I want to encourage you to focus your hearts and minds on God. As we embark on this journey of seeking His face and persevering in prayer, let us remember the words of Psalm chapter 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. So take a moment to quiet your hearts, remove distractions, and truly be present here with the intention to commune with our Creator. In Psalm chapter 100, verse 4, the Word of God invites us with these words. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. So let us enter into the presence of our Heavenly Father with hearts brimming with thanksgiving and praise. Take a moment to reflect on the blessings and goodness that fill your life. Even in the midst of challenges, we can find reasons to be thankful. Our very existence is a gift from God, and each day is an opportunity to experience His grace. As we embark on this journey today, let's remember the promise from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. It's an assurance that when we seek God with sincerity and an open heart, we will indeed find Him. Let's take a deep breath, center our thoughts, and prepare our hearts to seek the Lord with all our being. In this moment, let go of any distractions, worries, or busyness. This time is about you and God, a precious connection. In Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6, we find this comforting guidance. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Trusting God completely and submitting to His ways can bring clarity and guidance to our lives. Let's place our trust in the Lord, who knows the paths we should walk, and who desires the very best for us. In our own understanding, things might seem unclear, but in His wisdom, our paths become straight and purposeful. Remember, my dear friends, God's love for us is immeasurable. Romans chapter 8, verses 38 to 39 reminds us, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. As we embark on this time of devotion and reflection, let us anchor ourselves in the truth of God's unfailing love. His love is our constant, our refuge, and our strength. Now, as we journey forward, may we seek God's blessings over our time together. In Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26, the Lord's blessing is pronounced. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. May this blessing become a reality in your life. May you be blessed, protected, embraced by God's grace, and filled with His peace. In the book of Psalm chapter 100 we read, Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth, Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. Psalm 100 verses 1 to 3. Isn't it incredible to think that the God who created the universe, the mountains and the oceans knows us, loves us, and calls us His own? That is certainly a reason to praise and adore Him. Let's pause for a moment to reflect on this truth. 
Close your eyes and picture yourself in the presence of God, the Good Shepherd who cares for His sheep. Picture the vastness of His love and let your heart swell with gratitude. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise His holy name. Psalm chapter 103 verse 1 My dear friends, we can praise the Lord not just with our voices but with our very beings. Our entire essence can resound with praise for the Holy One. So, as we continue in this moment of adoration, let your soul burst forth with joy and praise to His holy name. Let's remember that our God is not distant or aloof, but He is intimately involved in our lives. In Psalm chapter 139 verses 13 to 14, we're reminded, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Isn't it amazing to think that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by the creator of the universe? Every detail of your being is a masterpiece of his design. As we reflect on these words, we can't help but praise and adore our God for his intricate craftsmanship in each one of us. You are unique and you are loved. I will exalt you, my God the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Psalm chapter 145 verse 1 Let this verse echo in your heart. I will exalt you, my God the King. Friends, it's not just a duty, but a privilege to exalt our God, to lift Him up as the King of our lives, the one who reigns over our hearts, circumstances, and destinies. In the book of Revelation, it's written, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Revelation chapter 5, verse 12. The Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, is indeed worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. His sacrifice on the cross has given us life and salvation. So, in this moment, let us declare His worthiness. Let's lift our voices and proclaim, Worthy is the Lamb. Our Savior's worthiness is not dependent on our circumstances or feelings, but on the unchanging truth of His love and sacrifice. In times of doubt or uncertainty, let us remember the promise in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Our God is with us, and He will uphold us with His righteous right hand. Even when life's storms rage around us, we can find solace in His presence. As we praise and adore Him, let His peace settle in our hearts, knowing that He is in control. Let's open our hearts and welcome the words of Psalm chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. In Him we lack nothing. He is our provider, our protector, and our guide. We can praise Him because He takes care of every aspect of our lives. In Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26, we read, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. May these words become a living reality in your life. May the Lord bless you, keep you, shine His face upon you, be gracious to you, and give you His peace. May you go from this moment of praise and adoration with a heart full of gratitude, a soul resonating with the goodness of God, and a life blessed by His presence. Amen.